Hello, my name is Pastor Dustin Sievert, and I'm one of the campus pastors and religion instructors at St. Croix Lutheran Academy. It's my privilege to give you an overview of our religion curriculum and classes at St. Croix Lutheran. I want to begin by sharing with you our school mission statement. Our mission is to educate the total student spiritually, academically, and physically in a caring Christian family community. There's no doubt that when students leave St. Croix, we want them to find success in their future life. We want them to have an appropriate amount of head knowledge, which allows them to meet all of their goals after high school. But as you might sense from this mission statement, we also care deeply about the spiritual lives of our students. We want them to have an appropriate amount of heart knowledge. What I mean by that is this. We want our students to know their Savior and the words that He shares with us. As we look into God's Word, we want to see that message is a message which guides us through this life into the next. It's our goal in each religion class to communicate God's Word with our students in that caring Christian family community. We want our religion classrooms to be environments where we can have conversations about the hope that we have in Christ and what He's done for us. Today, as we have an opportunity to review the religion classes at St. Croix, these are some of the topics I look to cover. What is the goal of religion class? The approach of our religion classes? Content at each level? What a typical day looks like? Some challenges and opportunities? And religion class beyond the classroom? Let's start out by looking at the goal of religion class. I have the privilege of teaching both in our middle school religion and also religion 11 teaching the junior class. At the start of each year, I put these two goals before my students, to grow devotionally and prepare intentionally. These goals come from 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 15, where it says, In your hearts, set apart Christ as Lord. Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have, but do this with gentleness and respect. What does grow devotionally mean? Well, to me, it means this. I want our religion classes to be more than just a grade on a report card. I want it to be more than just head knowledge. I want it to be heart knowledge. I want our students to build lifelong habits in a way that helps them connect better with God's Word and apply that Word to their life of faith. For instance, in my religion classes, we do what's called Into the Word Wednesday, where we take 10 to 15 minutes at the beginning of each class every Wednesday and just read God's Word on a personal level. I model different methods at the beginning of the year and then students have the freedom to, to journal, to take notes on their computer, to do whatever they want. And the goal is just this, to teach them that their faith is beyond just the walls of this classroom. It extends not just to their life outside of St. Croix, but their life that is before them. And so we try to help them grow devotionally, to build, to build those good habits that connect them to their life of faith. And secondly there, we want to prepare intentionally our students as they look forward to their future. Many students comment as they go through St. Croix about sort of still living in a bubble, whether it be the St. Croix bubble or living under the authority of their parents. They look at that as somewhat being restrictive. And our students look forward to their future. They look forward to college. I was once a high school student as well, and I guess I can't blame them for that. But we have this great opportunity in our religion class to prepare students for that future, for the questions that they'll have, for the challenges that they'll confront, for the opportunities that they'll get to live their faith and share their faith. So we make it our purpose to prepare them intentionally for their future. We get to do that each and every day in our classes. We have religion um, each day um, for that 41 minutes. What does class look like? What's our approach to class here at St. Croix? Well, these four words stick out to me. We want our religion classes to be relational, foundational, connecting, and also future focused. We want our religion classes to be relational. We want to meet the students where they're at. We want to know about their lives, where they come from, their backgrounds, their culture, and also um, weave those, those things into the conversation within our class. We want, to, we want our students to see their teachers as approachable. We want to know what's on their heart. We often start class out with prayer requests. We want them to feel comfortable uh, sharing those requests with their teachers, with their peers. Uh, we want them to come to us when they might struggle or stress in the daily 
um, aspect of their life. So we want to be relational in our approach. Also, we want to be foundational. We have students that come to us from a variety of backgrounds. Students who are just learning the Bible for the first time and some who have been studying it since three years old in Sunday school. Whatever that foundation is, we want to build on the Bible knowledge and promote a growth mindset to be continually growing in our faith and knowledge of God's Word. Building off of that, we want to be connecting. We want to connect current events and life challenges in light of God's Word. We want to listen to our students, learn about their lives, hear what they're struggling with, know what they're celebrating, and we want to discuss anything and everything in light of God's Word. We want to connect with them in a real and relevant way. And so we'll often have discussion days in our religion class where students are free to talk about maybe a, a current event, something that just happened that's in the news, and we can do so, again, in light of Scripture. And finally, um, we want to be future-focused. We want to seek to help students live their faith and share their faith. It, it goes with that stated goal of preparing intentionally. How do we help students look toward their future and see that faith is a very integral part of that future? So we want to be future-focused, have discussions, and, and, and take God's Word and relate it to them now, but also for their life to come. Coming up next, student Lexi Wood shares with you a little bit more about her thoughts on religion class here at St. Croix. My name is Lexi and I'm a junior here at St. Croix. My favorite part about our religion class is the diversity that gets brought into the classroom. You get to have interesting and fun conversations with kids that are from different cultures and different backgrounds from you. I feel that our pastors and teachers do a great job of pushing us to better our faith. They really encourage us to dig deep into God's word and to apply it to our lives. As you get a little bit older in our classes, they get a little bit more difficult and you cover more difficult topics. Our classes are mostly discussion based and we really dive into God's word and focus on the tough things that you wouldn't talk about in everyday life. That was junior student Lexi Wood. I appreciate her sharing her thoughts for us. Next, I want to share with you what the content of religion class looks like at St. Croix. We have 6 through 12 here on campus. We have a wide mix of students from all over the world and also from our community. And currently at St. Croix, religion class is basically divided up based on grade level. In middle school, we have a rotating three-year curriculum. Different topics covered include the four key concepts of sin, grace, faith, and works, foundational Bible knowledge topics. We look at Genesis and creation, the Gospels, and the ministry of Jesus and how it connects to our lives. We also seek to look at practical topics, including relationships, leadership, and discipleship. Once students get to high school, as I mentioned previously, it's divided basically of each level is taught to each grade. There is one exception, as you see on the bottom. We do offer a Bible knowledge class. That is for our incoming international students who don't have much of a Bible background, if any. They would go into a special Bible knowledge class that helps them build on that foundation. And then once the Bible knowledge class is complete, then they would go into the appropriate grade level class um, where they would be slotted into. In Religion 9, that begins with the assumptions and attributes of God. It does an overview of the Bible, Bible 101, and it starts looking at Genesis into Exodus. Moving on to Religion 10, that gets into uh, the Gospels, the New Testament life and ministry of Jesus. It looks at his parables. It also talks about practical topics like relationships, sins within society, practical topics that teens face. It also has a component of Old Testament history around the time of the kings and the judges and lessons learned from them. In Religion 11, the class that I teach, we begin the year by looking at the book of 1 Peter and we connect where culture and Christianity intersect. That is an interesting discussion as we um, try to make that as practical as possible. Following our introduction to the school year there with First Peter and culture and Christianity, we move on to apologetics. Apologetics is given a reason for the hope that you have. It's, it's, it's giving a defense of God's word. Um, and that's, again, a very timely topic as we consider skeptics in today's world. In second semester, we cover Acts and the themes of Acts being discipleship, servant leadership, worship, and fellowship. And we finish the year talking about Romans, God's power, his promises, and just his idea for us for godly living. 
When students are seniors, in Religion 12, they begin the year by looking at review worth reviewing. Pastor Enter goes over the key doctrinal truths found in Scripture and helps the students think about them and how they might relate those to their own lives of faith and also share that faith as we look at practical and personal witnessing tips. He also covers in-depth Philippians, Ephesians, and Revelation. And finally, he also does a study of other and world religions. As you can see from this menu of our content of religion class, we do try to have a varied approach. Each year there is certainly some foundational topics, but there's also some practical topics. At the very bottom you see each class has discussion days. Uh, teachers are always willing to uh, take student questions. Now of course there are those students who try to ask questions uh, just to get the teacher off track. But we want to be known as relational. We want to have the opportunity to, to answer the questions and uh, hear what's on the student's heart. And so it's not uncommon for our classes to get sidetracked for a day where we just talk about whatever the students want to ask and uh, help them uh, sort of uh, go through those questions that are there uh, before them. What does a typical religion class at St. Croix look like? As I mentioned previously, classes are 41 minutes long. In my traditional and typical religion class, I begin by, I'll say, taking a lap or doing a pulse check on the students. In my classroom, I have uh, tables where students are seated at that, currently socially distant. But I'll walk around the room as, as uh, students are entering. I'll ask them how their day is going. Um, I'll talk about sporting events that they might be in or organizational things that, that, that they're a part of, events that are coming up. Uh, just, just do a general pulse check to, to just see where they're at. Next, we'll get into and begin class with an opening prayer. Students are more than welcome to offer prayer requests for things going on here at school or things in their family. That just allows students to recognize that religion class is more than just academics. Following an opening prayer, uh, different teachers at different levels will do different things to start class out. Uh, start out with a devotional thought, start out with an opening question or an icebreaker, we often make use of Time of Grace videos or other media, three, four minute videos, which connect to our uh, classroom discussions and, and just can open the floor for questions and, and, and get us into what comes next. Um, the rest of the class is often broken down into large group and small group classwork and discussion depending on the topic of the day. Different challenges and opportunities that are before us with regard to religion class at St. Croix. The first thing I'd mention is just differentiated instruction. Students come to us from St. Croix right now from our community, but also from 19 different countries. So it's important to have that in mind as we set up our religion classes and curriculum. Students have different backgrounds, different cultures, different needs. Um, they have just a different foundation. I'll say different Bible literacy levels. That's both a blessing and a challenge for teachers and students alike. Think about giving an assessment to, let's just use my class as an example, um, a junior class where I might give an assessment, a test if you will, to students who have been going to Christian day school since they were a kindergartner. And if I give that same test to a student who has been in our religion class for a year and a half, that's going to end up with a totally different result. So we want to have the flexibility of differentiated instruction and uh, recognize how we can celebrate that as well. and. Uh, we can see just that new faith of each student and uh, what a blessing that is when that faith takes root and uh, goes forward in their life. But again, differentiated instruction is certainly one of our challenges where uh, students with regard to their foundational knowledge of the Bible are at all ends of the spectrum. Next, maybe a challenge is this, is does faith equal a grade? As I mentioned before, we want our students to see religion class as more than just a grade on a report card. We want them to see religion class as something that is preparing them for the rest of their lives. So we do give grades in our religion class, but I would say that our focus and our premium is certainly on matters of the heart. That our students are connecting with the material, that they're asking questions, that they're engaged in the classroom conversation. Another great opportunity is just the peer encouragement. Students who have been in religion class from their very beginning are, are, are encouraged to help students out 
who are new to Christianity, who are new to religion class. And when that happens, it's just a really neat thing with our religion class. The other thing that I see from our religion class is just some great mission opportunities. We can see those students growing in their faith. You see a picture on your screen of Bruno. I had the privilege of teaching him when he came to St. Croix as a middle school student. And I just had the great opportunity to baptize him um, last school year. What an awesome, awesome blessing that was to see Bruno uh, mature in his faith and uh, come to St. Croix not knowing anything at all about the Bible to then becoming a baptized child of God. I, I just thank God for the opportunity that he placed before me to have the privilege to baptize Bruno. So as we see before us here, there's certainly some challenges, but also some wonderful opportunities that God presents to us through our religion classes. Also, one final point here I want to share with you is this, is religion classes more than just the four walls of our classroom. Religion plays a vital role throughout our entire campus. We have pastors and teachers and staff here at school that seek to model Christ through their words and actions. We have teachers who are always ready, whether they're on uh, a break from a class or walk in the halls for conversation with students. Uh, we recognize those as opportunities also for spiritual growth. Each day at St. Croix, we also have daily chapel where our students come into our chapel and hear a message of God's word. And uh, what a blessing that is uh, to put that on their hearts each and every day. Also part of St. Croix is counseling opportunities. We have three uh, full-time trained pastors on staff. We're always willing to meet with students when we are uh, free between classes or after school uh, for counseling opportunities. and. I can assure you that uh, during the recent pandemic, uh, we have had plenty of opportunities to counsel students. We also do have a counseling service, the Wisconsin Lutheran Child and Family Partnership. We have professionally trained counselors that come to campus multiple days a week that uh, we can get our students involved with them as well if they're struggling or if there's anything they need to talk about. Um, our pastors are more than willing to help set that up. Um, again, this is religion class beyond the classroom. Um, and it's not just with counseling or daily chapel. We also see that religion permeates our teams and organizations. I'm one of our basketball coaches, and I can tell you that uh, we begin um, each game with a prayer in the locker room. And uh, we just have the opportunity to teach Christian leadership skills through our sports and through our organizations here at St. Croix. And, and, and finally, we encourage our students to take advantage of experiential opportunities where they can live their faith and share their faith. Those mission trip experiences have been a little few and far between uh, with the recent pandemic, but we look forward to those returning uh, to our program uh, very soon. Those experiences are so valuable to our students and a true blessing for them as they take what they learn in the classroom and put it into practice in a real way. Those are some of the religion class things that happen beyond the classroom. And again, we're so blessed to connect with our students, whether in or out of the classroom. Um, it really is a joy uh, to teach here at St. Croix. And it's my prayer that each one of our students is growing devotionally and preparing intentionally now, during this life, but most importantly, for the life to come. Thanks for uh, allowing me to present to you our religion curriculum and class overview. By all means, if you have any questions that you'd like to ask, please do reach out to me. I'd be happy to connect with you. Thanks again, and God's blessings.